CNN has just obtained declassified video of that near collision that we've been reporting on this morning. This is between U.S. and Russian warships in the Pacific. This is an extraordinary encounter. You are looking at the video of it. Look at how close these two ships came. Obviously, this is taken from the U.S. warship, and you can see that it appears to be within feet, yards. They appear to be uh, from each other. This was not supposed to happen. CNN's Barbara Starr is live at the Pentagon with the breaking details. Tell us about this video, Barbara. It is pretty darn chilling to look. Look how close that Russian warship is coming, uh, you know, to the deck of this U.S. ship. Uh, U.S. sailors on deck taking photos, documenting this incident as they stand on their deck. And look at that. You can see that Russian wake at high speed right behind the Russian warship as it comes alongside. Um, what the U.S. Navy is telling us is when this happened earlier today in the East China Sea in international waters, the Russians made this unsafe approach and they came within 50 to 100 feet at one point of the U.S. Navy warship. The Russians are saying that is not what happened, that they, they had the right of way. But you do see uh, a very steep wake. You can see that behind the Russian ship. At one point, you see a wake alongside the Russian ship. A minute ago there, you just saw that Navy camera being held by a U.S. sailor as they were pointing at the Russian ship to document the incident. <clears throat> Pardon me, as you continue to see the wake, one of the reasons this was so dangerous for the U.S. Navy ship and its crew is they were trying to land helicopters back on their deck at the time. And when you're landing a helicopter on your deck, you have to maintain a steady course because it's a very significant operation at sea. Because remember, these are two ships. Nobody's standing still. Ships move in the water, right? So this becomes a very dangerous activity. Look at that. You see a U.S. Navy sailor. He could, he could almost reach out and touch the Russian warship. This is not the way U.S. maritime, international maritime, safe operations are conducted at sea. Um, regardless of, of the debate between Moscow and Washington over right of way, what is very clear is you see the Russian wake. You see the Russian ship approaching the U.S. Navy warship in open waters, uh, mystifying why the Russians felt they had to come so close, why they had to make that approach, why they had to challenge the U.S. Navy warship. There was plenty of open water there for them to maneuver in. And look, this is not the first encounter, uh, unsafe encounter with the Russian military just yesterday. Uh, Russian aircraft uh, challenge intercepted in an unsafe manner with a U.S. military aircraft over the Mediterranean. The U.S. regularly intercepts Russian aircraft off the coast of Alaska. But this video uh, is something well worth looking at. This is just not the way safe international maritime operations are supposed to be conducted by anybody. John, Allison. All right. Barbara Starr, thank you so much for your reporting on this. We'll let you get back to work. You've given us updates about every 10 minutes all morning long, and each new one more astounding than the last. Appreciate it.